Hi, boys and girls. Today I'm sitting on the floor because we're going to do a STEM challenge. STEM means science and math and all the things we know put together to help us to think clearly and make some good decisions and try some things. Now, you're going to have to use whatever you have at home. I have this bucket of dominoes here, and dominoes are traditionally what we do this with. But I thought, not everybody has dominoes, but this is something that you might have. I have this big container here. Oops, take this out. And in this container, I have Lego bricks. I don't have a lot of Lego bricks. Um, well, I have a lot, but they're not all the right size. If I was going to do this, I would use the ones with the eight, um, the eight buttons on them. So I'm going to pick out all the ones I can find. It doesn't matter what color with the eight buttons. And then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. So you might want to look around and see what you have that you can use. But don't start till the video's done. Okay, so let me have a minute. I'm going to count, get out a bunch. And I'll be right back. Okay, so I went through my bin of Legos. And let me show you what I came up with. I found that I have quite a few of these with the eight buttons on them. And they are the most like um, the dominoes I had. I found some that were longer. I found some that were thinner. And I found some that were shorter. But I just don't have enough of these kind of dominoes to really, I mean, of these kind of Legos to make it work. Your challenge is going to be to see if you can build a um, pattern of some sort with your dominoes or your Legos or whatever it is you have. And I'm just building a straight line right now. And I, I only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bricks. Now, if I knock down the first one, will they all get knocked down? Let's see. Oh, Lego, these are hard. Whoa, not going to work. I saw a video of this and it, oh my goodness. Now, you notice they're getting stuck on the buttons. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn them around so the back shows. That might work better. See how we have to oop, try different things? Maybe, the, I don't know if that will work better. This is a little bit crazy. Now, you might have bigger Legos or smaller Legos. I don't know what will work. Okay, so I turned them around. Let's see if this will work. Oh, that did work better. They didn't get stuck, and I was able to knock them all down. But because I have so few, I cannot do much with them. I also decided to try bigger blocks. And with bigger blocks, let's see, we'll see if we can do a line with them first. And you have to figure out how far apart to put them and what's going to work right. Okay, so I've got them all lined up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ready? If I tip this over, well, that worked out just well, but I just don't have that many. So at my house or in my classroom, the thing I have the most of are the dominoes. So that's what I'm going to be using. And now to set up eight dominoes, and I'm on the floor because a wiggly table won't work. I'm on the floor. Let's see if I have enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so eight. If I tip this domino, that was pretty easy. No problem. But what can be really cool is you could decide what kind of shapes you could do too. So I'm trying now a circle. Now, the key is you want to make sure when you tip one of these that they all go down. So you have to work on how far apart to put them. And it might take a few tries. You ready? Let's see if this works. Uh-oh. See what I mean? It's not that easy. I'm going to try it again. And I'm going to, this one didn't hit that domino. I'm going to put them closer together. Maybe this time, though, I'm going to make, 
a letter. Let's see. I'm going to make the letter R. Oh, maybe not. Here's a C. I'll make an S. An S would be good because it's all in the right area. Kind of a curvy letter S. Oops. And it's always a good idea to count how many blocks or dominoes or Legos you can put. See how I made it? Like the letter S, or maybe it looks like a snake to you, or just a big old squiggle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. You think I can do it? Let's try. Ready? Oops, I wanted you to see it. Start at the top. Only one hit. Uh. <laughs> well, that's where the crash was. Let's see. I'm going to do it again because I do not give up. And that's the key to this. I could not knock down 18. So I'm trying to fix it. Now, I only got this far. I only... Oh, no! <laughs> that was a problem, too. I'm going to try it again with my design. One, two, three. Let's see if I can get all 18. That one I only got 17 because I was still holding one. That was a mistake. So let's see. You have to take your time to set them up. Here, I'm going to set it up, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I've got 18. You ready? I hope I'm going to fix that one a little. Let's see if I can do it. Oops. Yay! All 18. Well, 18's my big number, but I can beat it. I'm going to set up a new shape. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm getting a little tricky. Look what I did. You ready? I'm going to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then it's going to go around. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. I have 37. So let's see. What I predict is that I will knock this one, it'll go here, and hopefully it'll knock both of these to go around and knock that down and keep and end there. I don't know, I haven't tried it. This is my first try. And what, how many did I say? 27, I think. You ready? Okay, here we go. Just gonna knock this one. Let's see if it'll go. Oh! What do you think of that? 27. That's pretty good. I'm excited about that. Now, you could do all different shapes. I got an idea for another one. I'll be right back. Well, it's probably a good thing that I turned my camera off because I had a thought that I could line up 60 of them. I have 60 right here on the floor. Do you notice that none of them are standing up? And that's because Three times I have tried, and three times I knocked them over by mistake. Did Miss Red get upset? Goodness, no. Just like Pete the Cat, I am going to keep trying. I only got as far as 40, and then I knocked them over. And then I tried again, and I didn't even get 40. I only got to 28. And they fell over again. But the good part was, when I knocked them, they all fell down. So my plan was going to work. And what I was trying to do is make a spiral. I don't know if I can get up to 60. I don't know how high you can get. But don't give up. If it makes you feel frustrated, walk away and get a new plan and come back and try again. Right? Are we going to get upset by something that's supposed to be fun? What would Pete say? goodness? No, because it's all good. Now, if you're able to line up 10, tell me that. Let mom or dad write it to me. Take a picture of what you do before you knock it down and after, or take a video. And you know what? If they keep falling like they do for me, even if you send me a video or a picture of how they fell, that show still shows me you did it. Now, I'm not done, but I'm almost out of time. So, I'll let you know on Monday how I did. I'm going to try again. I'm going to see if I can get 60.
Have fun, boys and girls, and use whatever you have around the house. I can't wait to see what you come up with. You guys are so inventive. Enjoy it. <laughs>